Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad P14 S Gen 5. To open this compact workstation, you have to undo six captive Phillips head screws. Pry the back with a thin plastic tool and then pop the top edges. After that, work your way around the sides. Raise the rear until the front clips are released and remove the panel. The inside of the bottom panel houses a metal plate with a thermal pad that cools a big SMD power inductor on the motherboard. We can also spot a sizable dust filter in front of the ventilation grill. The device that we bought has the optional 75 watt hour battery. The default model has a capacity of 57 watt hours. Pop the front side of the connector with a lever tool. After that, slightly push the back of the connector toward the battery to release the two small plastic feet from the connector housing. The next step is to undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around 10 hours and a half of video playback. Our test was conducted with the Energy Saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Scheme for Battery set to Balanced mode in the BIOS. Untangle the cables on the bottom of the battery housing. The Wi-Fi 6 e-card is soldered. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs are compatible with up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. This is the maximum official manufacturer's specified limit for a Meteor Lake H CPU. Both RAM modules are covered by thermal shields on both their top and bottom sides. Interestingly, there is a key BW1 slot, but ThinkPad P14 S Gen 5 lacks SIM connectivity. Sadly, there is just a single M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe is protected by a metal cap that has a cooling pad on the inside. We found another pad below the SSD. The thermal system seems potent. It comprises a pair of sizable fans, two long, thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, and a third one that is solely dedicated to the graphics card. The cooling is complemented by two heat sinks and two large heat spreaders.